In this video, we will be demonstrating the pros of cold bonding versus welding. We attached two brackets to a tank. One was attached to the tank via welding and the other via cold bonding. Before we began, we marked out the perimeter of the brackets. For the welded bracket, we prepared the surface area outside the perimeter since welding is done at the edges. We then proceeded to weld the bracket. As you can see in this video, the tank lining started burning as soon as we began welding. We had to stop welding for safety reasons. For the cold bonding application, we prepared the area inside the marked perimeter since bonding is done on the whole surface of a bracket. We then prepared the bracket. Next, we masked off the application area. We proceeded to clean the area to remove any loose particles. We then mixed our bonding material, which in this case was Belzona 1212. After mixing, we applied a thin layer to the application area with a stiff bristle brush, pressing hard to make sure product fills the profile. We then applied a thin layer of the product to the bracket surface and more product was applied to build a central peak. We proceeded to attach a bracket to the tank by pressing it with force onto the application area, making sure the product squeezed out of the sides. We cleaned the excess product off the edges of the bracket. We took temperature readings via thermal imaging as you can see in this video. A maximum of 80 degrees Fahrenheit was reached, which is safe for both the tank lining and content. And we removed the masking tape to finish the application. Cold bonding is a more practical and safer choice. Here are a few samples of other cold bonding applications. Live leak repair on a tank, mounting a ladder or cell phone antenna to the side of a tank, or even repairing the weld seams by injection. Check out these videos on our YouTube channel. 